Hi everyone, thank you so much for attending today's webinar on how to nail your next sales kickoff. My name is Shannon Quinlan, a senior account executive here on the Enterprise Solutions team with Cvent, and I'm very excited to talk to you about our SKO offerings today. Getting into our PowerPoint, our sales kickoffs are typically one of the marquee internal events for all of our event planners that really catapult your company to success the rest of the year. One of our events that we do every year that we all look forward to on the sales team is our annual SKO with the return to in-person events being now more than ever after the long pandemic. We're definitely excited to kind of show our offerings today and how our solutions can help this. Moving along, we did want to first start off with some sales kickoff goals. Um, as we get started, there are four goals on the screen right now that really keep us in line to make sure this is the most successful event that you can host for your reps. The first starting out would be creating an engaged community of your sales reps. Um, that's really engaging reps, getting them excited for this event um, and kind of making sure that they're looking forward to everything that you're putting on display um, to capture all of their success from the past year. The second would be boosting rep morale, productivity, and sales. So we want to make sure on our side, um, our leadership is always pumping us up, getting us excited, getting us to really showcase um, kind of our awareness within our company um, and what we can do best um, for C event essentially. The third would be building connections in person amongst your reps. I know on our side, um, it was a virtual SKO that we had in the past, a hybrid SKO, and fully back to in-person last year. And I was very excited to see some of my colleagues that I don't normally see across the US on a regular basis. So those in-person connections amongst your sales team are really the driver, I think, and what most of us look forward to. Number four would be seamless planner execution. Um, so no matter the event format, whether it's hybrid, virtual, or in-person, um, I think this is kind of the biggest standpoint right here. I know our planners are extremely busy planning for this event um, on a year-end basis, but really the ease of the experience for the planner is what Cvent can help with. Moving right along to our timelines, I know that this is something that our planners really keep close to heart. Um, as we look to where we were in 2020 with our normal versus what we might consider today as our new normal. Um, so in between then, we've had our share of virtual SKOs, which were my least favorite because I loved to be in person with my team. Um, and then our hybrid SKOs, which was great because our um, central HQ division really got excited for this. And we were able to see some of our colleagues that we haven't seen across the globe in years at that point. So I believe that was, um, I think, 2022 or our last 2023 one in February, um, where we really were able to rally behind seeing each other, working together in person, um, and coming together to celebrate our success. So our last timeline here as we look to 2024 coming up in just a few short months is what we're seeing a lot of our clients do, which is the in-person on-demand version that Cvent can help execute. So what this means is you're hosting it with our tools in person, but have that on-demand recording option for people that cannot travel. Um, we're seeing a very big uptick in this. I think right now from my, what my clients are sharing, there's around 95% of their sales team traveling in person for their upcoming events this year. Um, and the, the remainder of five to 10, I would say, um, joining virtually for other commitments or maybe just some travel um, difficulties. So that's really cool to see. Again, completely different environment that we've seen in the last two years, but um, that's kind of where we are today. Um, we most likely will bring all of the focus back into our in-person rooms, um, as we would call it, uh, for kind of events moving forward. And um, just excited again to show you the offerings that we can show today. So kind of relating back to how CVET can help um, and, and what these successes look like for 2024. So I think the first, again, would be delivering an in-person event with an on-demand content um, visual. Another would be bigger and better um, than ever is kind of what we call it here. A global scale um, that kind of wows your sales team is super important. Um, we see a lot of our teams here across the globe really rally behind our own SKO. We have our India team, our EMEA team, and our US team all coming together where I don't, I think if the global present wasn't there, it'd be, look a lot different. Um, so that's really important to keep in mind. I don't think uh, kind of a smaller scale is really not the way to go for SKO um, and kind of what we recommend doing on our side here. Um, the third would be 
strapped for resources. So if you're strapped for resources, there's areas that CVent can absolutely help. Um, we have a wonderful professional services team that can rally behind you and your planners to make sure that this is the most up-to-date, um, a great experience, and also just an all-on kind of exciting event for your team to rally behind. So we'll get into that later in this, in this presentation, um, but we're here to help. So that's kind of the biggest thing there on number three. Um, let's dive into more of the thoughts and ideas and how we can help you with, S with your SKO on the next slide. So as we look into event considerations, I first wanted to call out when we think of an SKA, you most likely have an idea of where you want to go with it. Um, you probably have already thought through the com core components of your event, where it might be, um, and kind of see high level what the feedback is from your team. But I think first and foremost, we need to figure out travel. Um, moving kind of along to a local destination or um, a kind of traveling destination for SKO, there's a few important things to note that CVent can absolutely help with. Um, with a dispersed workforce, this may be a one-time, once a year thing. I know some of our clients do um, a larger SKO in the beginning of the year and kind of a mid-year um, kickoff to get everyone rallied behind for that last quarter push. Um, but everyone's is different. So if you wanna have this in your company headquarters, we can absolutely assist in that way or a central place um, I know we are, we are based out of Tyson's Corner, Virginia, so our sales kickoff tends to be in Tyson's Corner um, at several locations and, and conference centers um, and ballrooms. But uh, again, looking at other destinations, we've seen a lot of our clients travel and want to make this a really um, kind of either three-day or four-day experience. Um, some of our organizations that we do support do not have a central office location uh, due to coronavirus and also just sending their workforce remote. So that's also something to prepare yourself for as you look in um, considering different locations. Um, whether you're staying or going, we're definitely here to help. One of the opportunities that you have to partner with CVET is by using our CVET supplier network. So our supplier network is really where we get to go and look at how to quickly find venues that meet your requirements. So um, by using this, you can find an off-site off space very easily for you. You can connect your RFP to multiple venues at once to nail down a location, and you can compare your bids side by side to better negotiate. Um, the great thing about Cvent, you know, we love our data. You can track savings, overall spend, and really have complete visibility into your entire event program within this tool. So that's kind of the first point that I wanted to take us on here is really where do we go to look at a location? Um, and that's really kind of what we see our planners also do as well when we're deciding on where to have these in-person SKO events. Moving along to the next slide, I did want to quickly call out some of the SKO content ideas that we're happy to share and what we've seen in the industry to you all today. Um, some of the things that I think is near and dear to my heart being on the sales team here are those deal success stories where you can really call out reps, talk about the success that they've had in a challenging environment, or maybe really cool client success stories um, in that department. So that's one way to really make sure your sales team feels valued uh, and kind of kick up their participation and getting excited for this event. Um, another thing that we do here really well at Cvent is recognize our top performers. So um, we will have people share success stories. We'll have a very interactive stage set up where we're maybe, have, maybe having a QA and a on a, a specific um, instance or deal where you know, a rep is, is getting shouted out for doing something extremely impressive um, within our client base. Um, we also have a lot of people jumping around from different careers in CVent with lots of tenure, talk about their career journeys and how they've gotten from where they are to where they are now, um, or where they were to where they are now, uh, which is really cool. Um, and again, make sure that the engagement, meeting them in person is ticked up a notch. Another thing we also value are personal success stories outside of CVent, outside of the workforce, celebrating babies, engagements, family um, kind of steps as far as what we're looking back on throughout the year. I think that's a really good way to make sure that your, your sales team is engaged, but also kind of taking a moment to reflect on what might have happened in their year that's not sales related, um, but makes them kind of who the rep that they are today. Um, another thing that we also love is networking. So I'm really excited to jump into our tools today to show you how we can network with our mobile app and also our check-in and badging. Um, and kind of showcase how easy we can make it for that interaction and engagement to also be heightened. 
On the right side, we have some more um, opportunities here where maybe we have a skit, um, something funny where our team's interacting um, with external speakers that we always actually have come in. I know that um, at our CBET Connect uh, main annual event. We have people from around the world and, and famous people come in, but we also have that at our SKO. So we have that experience for not only our clients at our annual event, but also our, in, our internal employees because we recognize how important that is. Um, my favorite one will be the award ceremonies. I love being able to celebrate with my team and colleagues and managers on stage. And that's really what I think we most look forward to on the sales side. So that's a big one to call out. The end of the day, I really think with all this being said, you just need to create a balance between the product engagement, selling skills, and also customer acumen. So inspiring people with energy, motivation, and really encouraging them to participate and peer-to-peer -peer network while in person is what will drive this forward. Next up, I do wanna take us through our SKO planning and execution phase. So our collection of solutions allow you to execute every detail of your event. You'll be able to deliver highly engaging but unique experiences with high level technology that really aims to elevate and enhance your brand, not detract from it. Um, and lastly, we wanna give you all the tools to consolidate data, run detail reports, seamlessly connect and pass in, like, information through various APIs for a fast follow-up and then critically analyze your success. I think one of the things that's so great about CVent is all the data that we're able to collect and report back to you within our tools, um, but also having all that data live in one place it makes it easier for you, it makes it easier for your, your guests, it makes it easier for your planning team, really to have that consolidated. And that's something that we'll be walking through as well today. You'll also see the support through both the technology and the staff at every single stage of the life cycle. Um, but while the whole team participates, we have a whole team of experts on our side who really understand your needs and how to make sure that this workflow for you is the best as possible. So next up, we are going to continue with our sales rep expectations. Me being on the sales team, I totally understand. Um, we're very busy people, we have a lot going on, but there's two key areas that we will focus on today and that's creating a personalized curated experience for your sales team. And also the second, which would be engagement, network, networking, and building connections throughout the event. Um, wowing your sales team with this experience is going to be something that they look forward to um, 11 months out from the event. Um, I know for us, it's a really big staple um, for our team. So we're excited to kind of dive in deeper here. Moving right along, we definitely want to create a personalized, curated, and user-friendly experience. One of the ways that we'll focus on that today is through our mobile app and registration site. Um, your sales reps will have a, pure, a personalized experience that's really um, dedicated to them, their user role, and their registration path, which makes it really accessible for us on site when we're running around, um, kind of getting to each center or ballroom to celebrate SKO, knowing exactly where we're going, having all the information at our fingertips, and making sure that we're not stressed day of on delivering the event. As you can see on, see on my screen, we are driving participation with smart outreach using our attendee hub mobile app and registration site. Um, on this screen, you're able to see a fully brandable and fully personalized segment here to make sure that your team is registered um, and utilizing the app at their fingertips for the event. Um, you can see here your registration confirmation page where I'm brought to a QR code that's personalized for me and also an add to calendar invite um, that I can quickly go in, add this to my calendar and have all the information displayed on my own personal um, outlook for this event. You're also able to curate these invitation lists based on invitee, division, tenure, and geography, um, where you kind of see it most useful. I know a lot of our clients like to have it broken up by different demographics on that piece, um, which again, CVent allows you to do. So for me on the sales team, I might have a different registration path than our marketing team who also will be in attendance. Um, I might be doing different things, going to different meetings than my manager who is you know, meeting with my VP, where I will be most likely meeting with my own team. So um, kind of in this piece right here, this is step one in having your event curated specifically just for you um, and, and your reps. We're definitely gonna walk through as well different ways of communicating this information out, um, but here's just a high level snippet to show you what it's all about. 
Moving along, this is showing you our curated registration process. So we're showing you how agenda items can flow. We're showing you a registration site, a registration process, and the attendee hub and where this lives. So again, it's all in one place. It's all fully brandable and matching. Um, one of the things that I do love is the drop down here where it shows invitee information. Um, very simple drop down, easy to understand on the planner side. You're able to toggle through and make sure everything's curated exactly for that rep or division based on your requirements. One of the things that we also love in this piece is our web page visibility. So again, you're showing everyone your attendee types on any given web page. You're also able to highlight all the registration paths. Um, you're able to host dynamic registration experiences, and that can all be predetermined by your sales reps. So again, if you want me to have the opportunity to go in and choose my own route for SKO, I can do that. Or if you'd rather have your planners assign me to my route, you can do that as well. Um, it's really up to you and how you want to configure your SKO event, but CVAC can do both. Um, I know that some our planners and, and some of our clients like to have more visibility than others, and that's absolutely achievable. One of the ways that we can also save your time and your sales reps time is by pre-populating all of their information. So that, that way, my information isn't having to be manually typed out. It's already saved within our system as Shannon Quinlan and my email address. As we're moving along here, we do wanna highlight that all the information collected um, can extend beyond registration. So uh, we really like to have the personalized home screen that you're seeing here. We love to host showcase session recommendations and the personalized schedule to get everyone excited about what they're about to experience at your sales kickoff event. Um, one of the things that we can do this is maybe by highlighting our speakers. Um, as we, we're seeing here on the event details under the Blue Corp sales kickoff, uh, maybe we're showing where you're staying. So our Embassy Hotel Suites is mentioned there. Um, things of that nature. So we're happy to configure a site that looks exactly like this for you and with you based on your requirements and needs. Moving along to our next slide, we do understand better in-person experiences are top priorities right now, um, especially with the long-awaited uh, kind of COVID break that we were on. Um, everyone's itching to go back to in-person. All of my clients are saying the same thing. Um, so whether it's in-person with a virtual component or um, fully in-person, we want to make sure that you're set up for success um, the best way as possible. One of the ways that we can do that is one of my favorite tools, our check-in and badging solution, where we're able to give all of your reps a curated badge while they check in on site and um, it updates in real time, gives you my name, uh, sales kickoff kind of journey um, on the back of the badge with maybe an agenda and then tracks me throughout the event. So you will know as a planner on what time I arrived, what time I checked out, um, all of that session capacity information um, that I'll travel to in the beginning and, and end of my, my day, you'll have access to. So um, it's really great, it's easy, it eliminates all of the use of paper and pamphlets. And then the great thing too, is we can make this as um, intricate as you want. So as you're seeing on my screen here, um, I'm showing you our CVET Connect badge where we actually had our agenda on the back and my name and QR code that connected to our mobile app on the front. Um, you'll notice that this lanyard is personalized. We can also go in depth as that um, to make this really as artistic as you would like. Another um, one I will show is just our SKO one from 2019, I think. No, 20, sorry, this was last year's one. I started in 2019. Um, <laughs> our 2023 one, um, again, different lanyard, different look and feel. We have our entire agenda on the back of the badge. Um, and it's really just a great way to make sure that your reps are feeling um, that much more kind of promoted while you're on site. Maybe you have stickers that you want to put on your badge for the new, newly promoted ones um, or the recognized ones. We also had options for that. So my lanyard might be a different color than my colleagues, things of that nature. So one of the ways we do that is with our check-in and badging tool that we will go into today. Networking, connections, and engagement is extremely important. So this is our next slide. I do want to kind of talk about how we can really impress the attendees and make them feel more welcome. Um, it'll also make you stand out from other brand opportunities, um, kind of competing for their attention. So one of the ways that we do that um, is by simplifying the registration experience, as we just kind of showed, and also just having 
more conversions um, with our apps on site to drive that engagement. One of the ways that we love to drive engagement is with our event apps. So this is kind of the cherry on top of our attendee hub um, web page browser version, but really everything being held within an event app in one streamlined location. Um, you'll be happy to know that this connects directly to our registration site. Um, so everything updated within registration will directly carry over on the planner side to the event app and attendee hub. Um, and really this is kind of where we've seen the most development while we go back to in-person events. A lot of my clients who didn't previously use a mobile app while conducting an SKO are now more than ever interested in using a powerful engagement app for their sales team. So one of the one of the kind of pluses in this is really connecting to content easier, being able to message other um, representatives of the company in the app. Um, it kind of works like an SMS and, and texting atmosphere there. Um, you can set appointments, send push notifications to your attendees, and also just really allow your reps to be more engaged than ever before at the event. Um, I think a lot of the times what we're seeing is a lot of our clients saying, you know, it's an internal event. I don't know if I need one. Um, and that was kind of their focus, maybe in the 2019, 2020 area there. Um, but as we move into now 2023, 2024, um, this has really been heightened. So there are very few internal events where my clients are not using an app um, because they do know the value of their employees getting together on site. Um, whereas maybe it's been a couple of years since they were able to do that. So it's really been great. Um, a lot of what we're seeing right now is on our screen, just with a few clicks, it's all drag and drop um, correlated and you know, a really easy way on the planner side to set this up. But again, our team is more than happy to design this, templatize, templatize this for you, and also make sure that it's showcasing all the valuable information that you would need at your next SKO. Moving on to the next slide here. Um, is really just kind of going over um, some of our event app features. So one of the things that we're really finding to be most important are those notifications that I mentioned before. Um, so really kind of sending day of notifications, maybe you're meeting your sales team for breakfast, maybe you're making sure that they take their survey at the end of the day. Um, we really wanna make sure that you're getting all that communication across to everyone on site in the easiest way as possible. Um, so you can see here on the left under announcements, um, kind of some examples that we have in this test environment, um, showcasing, you know, Carrie needs to go say hi to one of her clients at this time. Um, you know, good morning to everyone attending, the keynote session's about to ex um, start, things of that nature. So we really wanna make sure that, again, the app is being used as a way to communicate effectively and efficiently. Another really great thing we have here is our interactive maps. So um, one of the things that's new and actually ready to use in the attendee hub is our floor planning feature. Um, so you'll see right here the Oregon ballroom uh, where Wednesday's keynote presentation is being taken place. Um, I can very quickly pull this up within my phone and navigate to the correct area of where my next meeting or next um, VP kind of announcement and meeting is happening. I also wanna call it the multilingual capabilities that we have. Um, so one of the things that we really love about this app is our ability to make sure that we're getting across any multilingual capabilities uh, that you might need. A lot of my clients are needing French or Spanish, um, some other you know, languages that might need to be incorporated here. Um, and they can very easily do that, whether that's people attending from across the globe um, and being kind of in that setting where they wanna to toggle through each of those languages, um, or just you know having a standard set pre language, um, either one is is fine, and you can do either. So as I was mentioning, appointments in person during our SKO event are more important um, now than ever, especially when we're trying to make sure that people are meeting face to face and um, kind of spearheading those engagement opportunities. One of the ways you can do this is in our appointment module within Attendee Hub and our CVent tool and House of Solutions. Um, really, we're seeing this be available through our in-person events, but also hybrid events. You can schedule in-person appointments just as you can virtual um, and in hybrid event formats. So it's not limited to in-person. We strongly recommend it, um, but very cool how we can kind of work with you in those specific event needs. Um, we'll be able to help you uh, make sure that the right people are getting in front of the right faces at the event. 
We also love to kind of spearhead the rep to rep appointments um, to either build new connections or kind of meet with old ones. I know that I've been here for four and a half years at the company. I definitely would love to see some of my colleagues that I've started with here at the company um, and, and make sure I get FaceTime with them. An easy way for me to do that is look at their schedules in the appointment tool. So moving along, I'll show you really quickly what that looks like um, at a high level. As you can see here, we formulate our attendee list, our attendee profile, one-to-one -one messaging and appointments within our attendee to attendee networking. Appointments specifically will be all the way to the right, showcasing a time and location, which again, you can choose using our tools, um, but also you can filter it by appointment type. So as you can see here, we want to meet with the SVP and really just meet for a virtual uh, networking session um, or an in-person networking session. We can add the virtual attendees at the top um, if they want to be included, um, or we can just keep this strictly an in-person event uh, meeting. It's really cool here where you can subject the email as, or email, sorry, email and appointment as well. So when I go to schedule this appointment, I will get that email with the title of Coffee with Carrie, and I will also get that showing up in my schedule as so. Um, one of the other ways that I did discuss kind of interacting is our one-to-one -one messaging piece right here. Um, it's very great when we're able, again, to really just kind of text someone within the app who's on site um, while using that communication. Another way that we can also kind of showcase any guests or speakers that are attending are is, is by the attendee profile section um, and also within the attendee list. So I know on, on my side, I have a very big contact list in my iPhone and it takes me forever to scroll or look up someone's name. An easy way where we've kind of limited um, this function is within our tool. I have everyone's name, face, alphabet, alphabetized um, by you know role um, and kind of where they're going to be at the event um, in that tool. So on the attendee list piece, it's very easy for me to uh, go in and pick who I want to talk to. Moving along to the sales rep engagement as well, um, here's a few more just key pieces. We do have AI power recommendations, gamification, which has been a really huge one to make sure that everyone's, you know, using their competitive nature during the event and also custom content. So everything here you'll have access to within our tool. Um, and really it's a great way to encourage use of the mobile app. We also wanted to showcase the engagement before and after your event within the attendee hub. So as you can see here, Pre-event, you might have highlights of last year's SKO uploaded. You can recognize previous award winners. We always love to do that at CVent. We'll send out an email kind of recognizing our, our last year's award winners and nominees, get everyone excited, um, and really have content to get people amped up for the upcoming SKO. So um, this could include videos, messages from sales leaders. I know that I had my parents give me a shout out on one of my awards that I won last year, um, and our top sales reps kind of providing insight, insight into their success. So um, kind of going back to square one where we started today, this is really just a high level look on how the attendee hub can help in that journey. Um, and it really just starts with that personalized profile, downloading the, downloading the app and um, you know, keeping that live during the event. The good stuff afterwards, which is all the data will be readily available and updated in real time. Another thing, um, which reminds me to remind everyone, if you have any questions or feedback, feel free to put it in our chat today. We want to keep this as um, integrated and as you know engaged as possible. One of the ways that we can do this is provide feedback. So at our SKO, we love to survey everyone attending on their thoughts, their ratings, um, answer any questions that you know they have during the event. One of the ways that we can do that is our feedback survey. So we do have an advanced feedback survey options where we can make this as intricate or as easy um, and kind of simple as, as, you, as you need. We understand that a lot of organizations ask different questions for different sessions, which we also recommend. Maybe you're wanting to know our feedback on a speaker, or maybe you're wanting to know um, kind of feedback on a session. One of the easiest ways to collect this is during our integrated um, survey. So as you can see here on the screen, we do have a keynote presentation that John Hall is giving um, on the right. And as you look over, I can rate him as 
before are excellent. I can also leave comments. Um, I can state which information that I thought was the most useful for our planners to take note of. And I can also just add any other additional comments for John. So this is one of the ways and one of the easiest ways that where we've been able to gather um, feedback at your SKO event. Moving along here, um, we also have our post engagement on demand library. So this is very cool for all of my Netflix fans out there. Um, you can almost create a, Net a Netflix like experience for your attendees within our on demand library. This lives within the attendee hub. You can make some or all of your sessions available on demand and you can create content with the intention of making available um, on-demand content exclusive. So what that means is I can have the opportunity if I attend in person to go back on and rewatch any of the live or on-demand content that I'm being shared from SKO. By creating this experience, you're also offering your sales reps the ability to rewatch some key moments, um, maybe any content that I missed during a food or bathroom break um, and encourage all of the people that maybe have to step out for a few moments or again, join virtually um, to watch any of these sessions live that they missed. Um, so it's really great. It's super easy. I love it because there are those sessions during our own SKO that probably mean more to me um, than maybe others do. Maybe they're more personalized for my um, enterprise team versus our mid-market mid solutions team, things like that. So it's always great to have this available to encourage anyone to revisit anything that they, they want to know more about or miss. As we move on, seamless planner execution is definitely the most important thing here. So um, we definitely want to make sure that we're allowing on our side your key stakeholders staying informed. That's kind of, uh, you know, part one. We also have a access portal here in our tool of solutions where you can create a company self-service meeting portal for all of your internal stakeholders. In our case, it would be Reggie, our CEO, um, and your executives to run reports on the event data. Part of this is because our CEO, Reggie, is going to want to find out all of the key information that we have um, on our SKO to make sure that next year's we're either making improvements or changing things up. So really a way to have your stakeholders have this information at their fingertips has been extremely important um, for all of our clients utilizing the tool. Um, you can also see um, all the appointment calendars, travel combinations, travel policies, living in one place here um, and broken up where it's an easy and seamless way for your executives to run these reports. Um, you might be asking, how do you track success over the life cycle of the event? This is kind of where we see our planners and clients doing this. Um, you're able to really understand all the data, again, at your fingertips um, and drive kind of the year over year uh, importance with these events. Another value is to our clients is using our event diagramming solution. Um, this is extremely helpful for you to see in real time what your venue looks like before you get, you get on site for the event. Um, we're, we're able to actually use this tool for our internal and offsite events. Um, something that we love to do right now is really make sure that those days and spending hours arranging how your space is laid out are over. Um, our team will make sure that your event space is completely diagrammed within minutes. We can design your space to comply with your unique specifications on site. And you can also use the CDOT registration data to automate seating and catering, which means I will likely be sitting next to my manager and my team, and I will have my food order placed directly where I will be sitting. Um, one of the ways that you can also kind of use this tool is to collaborate with internal and external stakeholders. Maybe you want your VPs, CMOs and CEOs all at one table, but also maybe someone who just got promoted to sit at another and really be able to network with them. That's one of the ways that we've seen this diagramming um, be very useful for our clients using this for SKOs and also just to assist with all of that manual processes that you might have experienced a couple of years ago. Um, we know that one of the headaches from our event planners is going on site and not really having a plan for their, their space. So this tool has really eliminated all of those headaches um, and can also be used as a 3D rendering to get even more um, in the weeds on what that looks like. Moving along to um, room block management, again, as we talk about hotels, room blocking, getting on site for the event, we have a lot of our clients 
finding venues as being one of their red flags before they use Cvent. Um, you know, the last piece of the puzzle here really outside of the sourcing is to manage those hotel blocks. Um, this can be one of the most time consuming and tedious parts of your event management process, which we definitely understand, but we're here to help in managing this. Um, for the larger meetings, especially, I know our SKO, we try to get as many people across our company there as possible. Um, there's a lot of work that goes into making sure that the accommodations for hotels, for people traveling from either out of state, um, out of the U.S., um, and you know, across the globe that they're taken care of. So a lot of the ways that we can do this is by our room block management tool. I will go ahead and show you kind of the, the challenges that we've discussed here um, and how we solve for that. So one of the ways that we can solve for this is by using Passkey. Uh, Passkey is one of my favorite tools. We can really create a custom booking um, website for you to integrate all of your registrations into and take control and automate rooming lists. This reduces all errors across the company. This will reduce any manual work errors that your team might face. You're, not, you're, you're no longer having to plan out um, via Excel on this piece. So it really helps simplify the process by providing you um, and your attendees with a single place to see all your room options and to manage the best rates. Additionally, you can also share this information with your stakeholders. Um, I know as far as budgets go, a lot of our clients that use this tool like to have that at their fingertips, which is absolutely possible. As we talk about engagement through the event, which has been the common theme of today's webinar, I do wanna show engagement scoring through Cvent. Um, as you're seeing on your screen here, every individual has an engagement score. This data that you collect can be given out to each attendee to help your marketing and sales team curate different follow-up messaging and prioritize their time where it will make the biggest impact. One of the ways that we see this being very common at SKOs is how many times did I answer a survey? How many times did I answer a poll? Um, how many times did I interact with the event registration site? As you can see her to the right. So it's very cool across every event, um, SKOs and beyond, to show these insights to your leadership and really just show how engaged people are throughout the event. That way you can either make improvements or changes to next year. Um, you can also offer prizes. I know at Cvent, we also, we also offer prizes based on participation um, and kind of the, uh, the, the reps that participate most in answering questions or submitting feedback. So this is one way to, again, encourage engagement through the app um, and, and kind of track, honestly, track people's participation. Um, we can also see to the right here, you can filter by how, um, how long the event is, date and time. You can also filter by all interactions versus very specific interactions. So maybe your VPs are coming to you asking, okay, who submitted a question during this session? You'll be able to pull that up very quickly within Cvent and show them um, that data collected on your side. Last but not least, I did want to call out our professional services team here. We're here to help end to end um, for your SKO. So any part of the process in the planning stages, implementation stages, on-site execution, or post-event analysis, our team can absolutely, absolutely project manage and make sure that you're getting the most out of this experience as possible. Um, we are here, again, to help with our tools, any builds, um, any support from our team, again, to make sure that your life is as easy as possible when planning your first in-person SKO that may have, may have occurred in the last couple of years. Um, so this is kind of an important slide that we're seeing a lot of our clients utilize. And I am always recommending as far as uh, these types of very important uh, internal events. Moving along, we do have a little side here to call out. Um, it's really important just to kind of take a, an overview look at what we discussed today. Really where to start is identifying your, identifying your key stakeholders, outlining goals and objectives, deciding on your format and planning and executing. As we wrap up here, my name is Shannon Quinlan. It was super great talking with you all today during this webinar. Um, we hope that you got a lot out of it and got some new exciting ideas to incorporate into your next SKO. We do encourage you to check out these three links here, the Business of Our Internal Events, the SKO Agenda Components, and the CVent Resources Hub to get inspired and get our latest uh, research and kind of um, options out there. So encourage you all to click on those. We also want to invite you to participate in our feedback survey. Hear kind of your feedback, start your survey um, and 
click submit. Also feel free to ask any additional questions in the chat. And then we also wanted to recommend our upcoming webinars coming up in the busy months of this October as we end in November. Um, so feel free to attend, sign up, reach out to your CVAC account team to get you registered. And we hope that you get a lot out of this. Thank you so much.